time I'm saying it's uh, November 16th of the year 2020. But it's here. They, they have it all written. There's, it's planned, um, like I had said earlier on different videos. Uh, January 1st, 2001 is when they told all banks that are attached to the Federal Reserve they have to have wallets for all their, uh, I get their patrons out there, all their customers out there have to have a digital wallet, Federal Reserve wallet. So what it can function with and what it has to do and, and be done with uh, is yet to be shown, but they're just getting it here. You need to have this thing in place because what's common, in my opinion, is the universal basic income. And that's how they're going to you know, justify doing uh, anything um, to get more money. You know, they call it uh, for the economy. They call it, um, you know, we need this much. We're going to stimulate the economy with this program or, or this thing, or we're going to call it, you know, saving the American citizen or whatever it is with these stupid names that come up with it always mean the exact opposite of what they're calling it. But anyways, so if you want your $1,200 or you want your $600 or whatever, here, you have to go to this, this bank here, which they've got a wallet there for you from the Federal Reserve. And that's how you can pull your money from there. That sounds great. It sounds fun. It sounds grand. But what happens a year or two later, if it even takes that long, that they say, okay, now you're holding digits here. In order for you to operate here and have money or your, your dollars here, we are going to charge you a fee. So instead of calling it negative interest rates, it's going to be a fee. Well, you hold $100 in there for a month, we're going to charge you a penny. Well, that doesn't sound like much, but after a while, things always raise, taxes never drop, fees never drop, that's going to continue to grow. And if you hold $1,000 in there, that penny may have turned into uh, 100, 100 bucks over time, or even $50 over time, or even $25 over time, whatever. It's going to not stop. And once they get this implemented, they're going to get rid of cash that's already in the plan. All cash is gone by 2025 in the United States. Then they can see everything you're doing, everything you're buying. If they don't agree with you, they can tie it into a social credit system, social credit score like China has. So if they don't agree with what you're doing or what you're saying or um, who you're uh, talking to or who you're involved with or what you're buying, you're purchasing firearms or you're purchasing um, I, I don't know if you're overweight or have a heart condition and because you're on assistance, medical assistance, you cannot shop here or you cannot buy these items. You have to have approved items only because you're getting money from the government for your health and we're going to make that better and easier for you so we're not going to allow you to buy things that are bad for you. I mean, that, it's all there and it's, it's coming, it's right around the corner, not even on the corner, it's just down the road now. And it's going to be implemented. And once it's implemented, they're going to step on that gas even more and more. So what am I doing? What is my family doing to try to stay out of this as best we can? I'm just going to say a few, I, a few th or several things I should say. And, and you can take it and go with it if you want or just ignore it and see what happens. My, my philosophy is it's always better to be prepared and be a victim. Don't be a victim, be prepared, no matter what it is. So, grow my own food. We grow our own food, not all of it, but we, a good portion of it. We have a large garden, we grow our own food, so we have the skills to that, do that. We don't need to get to the store all the time for especially things like vegetables and, and uh, if you want to call it corn and potatoes, that kind of stuff. Um, hunt for your own food. We do that. It can be deer. It can be small game hunting. Um, it really can be anything. It depends on what's around your area and if you have private land or if you have access to private land or if you do on public land. You can hunt on public land. I know people that do that all the time also. Uh, purchasing assets. Uh, gold, silver, land. 
anything that holds real value um, for everyone. So anything that will have a value that almost anyone, uh, if it comes, times get hard, times get tough and you have to barter with them, they'll accept that for food if you need food or, or some sort of you need someone to work on your vehicle. You need to give them something in return. If you don't have a skill that's comparable that they need, you've got to have some sort of asset you can trade with them. Because um, the, the cash is going to be worthless. I mean, like I talked about, the dollar's going to be worthless. It's going to be this digital thing coming from the Federal Reserve, and they have no break, they have no buffer, they have no governor. You can put it like that. No one watching them to stop them from printing this money or these digits, this currency, and stealing from you and I as we sleep and as we breathe, basically. Um, learn how to barter and sell. I think just learn how to, you know, talk to people and interact. Barter and sell, you know, I'll do this for you if you do this for me. I'll, I'll bake this or cook this for you. I'll hunt this for you if you'll do this for me. It's a real simple, easy thing. Just learn how to do it and maybe your neighbor wants to trade something with you instead of exchanging um, bills for now, which you can still use cash at this moment. Um, so on that same note, learn multiple skills. If you know how to do X, Y, learn how to do Z, A, and B. Um, you could go online to learn some things. You could, you know, ask someone who knows something to just teach you, give you a few hints, a few pointers, maybe come show you. Uh, or you could also trade them something in return for them showing you how to do this skill. Or you, vice versa, same thing on the other end. Um, strengthen our community. We've been trying to strengthen our community, the people around us, get to know them a little better, trade with them. We've done that. We've got someone that comes around here, we'll plow if we need plowing, we'll do work in the yard if we need work in the yard with heavy machinery, or to help throw something up. Um, just stuff like that, and then people around here who have chickens, we'll get fresh eggs for them, or maybe get some chickens yourself, and you can trade fresh eggs for whatever it is you're looking for, just a whole bunch of stuff like that. Um, and uh, read great educational books. Uh, listen to educational speeches and conferences. Um, that's what I do whenever I'm April, able. My, my wife could tell you, and even my children could attest to this, if I'm not talking to them, if I'm not doing something constructive uh, that needs to be done around the home or for the family or a little beyond that, or even if I am doing that stuff, I'm constantly listening to educational stuff, or I'm grabbing an educational book that I've been reading, and I'm continuing to read, or I'll reread it. Um, I'll watch conferences. There's nothing more enlightening to me. People say it's boring, but I think you get something from it, and that just helps you grow so much more. With knowledge is power. It really is. And um, not just knowledge and stupid, I say stupid, but stupid things that don't matter to living, like who was, who was um, on this TV show or who was on this movie or, you know, I like this actor doing this part better. That's all trivial, but it's not real knowledge as far as how do you do this or what should I be doing with my money or how should I be treating this? Um, how should I move forward with things. How can I better my, my relationships, that kind of stuff. Um, so these are just some things that we've been trying to do. No matter what's going on out there, no matter what the society is doing, no matter what the government's doing, this is what we're doing to better ourselves and better our situations. I mean, we're just trying to stay strong and stay out of it the best we can. And the most, and, and I guess, most satisfying way we can. Always family, community, that kind of stuff. So, as always, thank you for watching. Stay vigilant. Protect yourself. Protect your family. Protect your wealth.